Hey everyone, so today we are going to see one of the very nice application of first order linear differential equations and that is nothing but orthogonal trajectories. Well, you have come across this word before as well. So what do you mean by orthogonal or orthogonality? It's a synonym for perpendicularity. So when do we say two lines are perpendicular, right? So if you have one line and another line, when do you say these two lines are perpendicular? We say that the lines are perpendicular if the angle between them is 90 degree. Okay, in that case we say the lines are perpendicular. And uh, we have a very nice connection between the perpendicular lines and the slopes. So what is that relation? If the lines are perpendicular, then the product of their slopes is minus one. So this is a thing that we are going to use today. So this was regarding the line. Now the question is when you have two curves, when do you say that those two curves are orthogonal? Suppose if you have this two curve, okay, suppose this is my curve one, this is my curve two. Question is when these two curves are orthogonal. Now here there are no lines. So how do you conclude the orthogonality? So what do you do is at this common point of intersection, you draw the tangent line with respect to the first curve and you draw the tangent line with respect to the second curve. So these are the two tangent lines. So you, there was a point of intersection with respect to that point of intersection. You draw the tangent lines with respect to both the curves. And now you see the angle between those two tangent lines. Now if those two tangent lines makes an angle of 90 degree then we say that the curves are orthogonal to each other. So to check the orthogonality of the curve, we take the help of the tangent lines. And when the angle is 90 degree between the tangent lines, we say the curves are orthogonal. Okay, so that was about the orthogonality of curves. Now the question is, given a family of curves, question is how will you find its orthogonal curves? Or how do you find its orthogonal trajectories? So let me tell you a way to find orthogonal trajectories. So this is how one can find orthogonal trajectories. So what will be the scenario? You will be given one parameter family of curves. Why one parameter? Because you will get only first order differential equation. So given a one parameter family of curve, you find its corresponding differential equation. Once you have the differential equation, we will find the differential equation for orthogonal trajectories. And once we have this differential equation, just now we saw six methods to find the solution to first order linear differential equation. We will apply one of those methods to find the solution of the differential equation which we found in step two. Okay, now how do we do this? Now once we have a differential equation for the given family of curve, suppose we have dy by dx equal to f of xy. Okay, so this is a differential equation corresponding to this family of curve. Now question is what will be the differential equation for the orthogonal family? The answer is dy by dx equal to minus 1 upon f of xy. This will be the differential equation for the orthogonal trajectories. And why this is so? Because the product of the slope should be now. And now why this is so? Because at the start I told you perpendicular line satisfies a very nice condition and that condition is product of slope is minus 1. Now here derivative is nothing but slope. So this is one derivative. This is the derivative for the given family of curves. Will this be the derivative for orthogonal family? Yes. Why? Because when I take the product of these two slopes, f into minus 1 by f and the answer is nothing but minus 1. So whenever we have the differential equation for the given set of curve, you simply take the negative of the reciprocal. And once you take the negative of the reciprocal, this is the differential equation for the orthogonal trajectories. And now you solve this differential equation to get the orthogonal curves. So this is how one can find the orthogonal trajectories. Now let's take an example so that the concept will be more clear. Suppose you have family of hyperbolas x y equal to c. Now what are these hyperbolas? If you can recall if my c is positive I will get the curves in the first and the third quadrants. If c is 1 then 1 by x 1 by x. If c is 2 y equal to 2 by x. So you have all the family of curves over here and when c is negative you have the curves in the second and the fourth quadrant. Suppose if c is minus 1 this is what you have. If c is minus 2 you have something like this and so on. So these are the family of hyperbolas. If you know something about asymptotes then x and y axis act as an asymptotes. 
but okay that i won't need here so these are the family of curves now what is the first step you do you first calculate the corresponding differential equation so what is the differential equation over here that is my first step if i differentiate both side what will i get x into y dash plus y equal to zero so what is my y dash minus y upon x so this is the differential equation for this family now question is what will be the differential equation for orthogonal family you simply take the negative of the reciprocal that was my second step so in this case it will be y dash equal to x upon y now this is a differential equation for the orthogonal family and now you know how to solve this differential equation you can easily solve using variable separable so what do we get so if you do variable separable what do you get you get y dy equal to x dx and when i integrate both side i get x square minus y square equal to c and when you try to sketch them so this was the given family of curves x y equal to c and what were the orthogonal trajectories this were x square minus y square equal to c which are nothing but this hyperbolas if my c is positive you get the hyperbolas which are symmetric about x axis right and if my c is negative you get like this kind of hyperbolas so the line so this are the orthogonal trajectories for the given set of curves and as you can see now you take any point over here so this is the intersection point and if you draw the tangent line so if you draw the tangent line with respect to both the curves the angle over here will be 90 degree so that's how one can find orthogonal trajectories so i, ho I hope this is clear let's take one more example and then we'll stop so this is the second example so here if i take y equal to cx raised to 4 now what are these these are nothing but the parabolas which kind of parabolas when c is positive you have parabolas like this and when your c is negative you have the downward parabolas so these are the parabolas given to you now the first thing is you find this corresponding differential equation you differentiate you find the value of c and resubstitute in the given equation you get this as a differential equation this is a differential equation for ot negative of reciprocal you do variable separable this is what the solution you will get and if i divide by 2c x square upon 2c plus y square upon c by 2 equal to 1 and this is nothing but the family of ellipses so you get the family of ellipses as an ot for the given set of parabolas and uh, one you think you can observe that your c will always be positive because your left hand side is positive so it's greater than 0 and as you can see 2c is bigger than c by 2 so what kind of ellipses you will get you will get the horizontal ellipses so if you try to draw over here so this are the ellipses you get and this ellipses are orthogonal to the given parabolas if one has to check one can take any point of intersection and if they try to draw the tangent lines the angle will come out to be 90 degree so therefore this family of ellipses are orthogonal trajectories to the given set of parabolas make sure you do the calculation and if you have any doubt you can ask me in the comment section now let's take some homework problems for the practice so here are the two examples the first one is the given family of circles you find orthogonal trajectories i think you should get lines over here and these are the family of cosine curves so take this as your family of curves find the differential equation and find ot and make sure you answer both the answers in the comment section so this is all about ot so i hope this is clear if you have any doubt you can discuss with me in the comment section and if you like the talk make sure you like share and subscribe thank you